Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the monthly reads uh, for the month of March. This reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus. Let's see how the month of March is going to be for you guys. I will be adding messages from your person and oracle cards as well. So stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that uh, resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me. On my email ID in the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well. So, Taurus, let's see how the month of March is gonna be for you guys. Let's begin. Six of Swords, <clears throat> Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups. On either deck, we do have the Knight of Swords. Um, I do see you uh, feeling ready uh, for, for something that you were not ready for. It can be a relationship, it can be a person, it can be a connection that you, you know, that, uh, that your person was asking you to commit for. Uh, whatever it is, I feel like, you know, you are uh, definitely taking action towards something that you were not ready before. So you feel that you are now prepped up and now you want to pursue it. It can be a relationship, it can be a specific someone as well where you are taking action or maybe you are letting that person in your life because you feel that, okay, fine, now you are ready, now you are prepared and now you can deal with them. Um, it can be a past person as well for some of you. Maybe you were feeling that you don't want to invest into this person or this connection because of the past that you have had. But now I feel like, you know, you, you're going to feel like now you want it. Now you feel that you, um, you have, um, I feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe you have a, a reignited passion for this person. Maybe that's basically letting you kind of, uh, you know, uh, making you let this person in your life again for some of you. And I feel like you know, it's, it's more of your decision that, yes, uh, I'm ready for it. I want to go for it is uh, what bringing uh, changes in your life now. Uh, you might have thought about this offer. You might have thought about, you know, making the offer or taking the offer. Uh, but I do see that you, you feel that now you can do it. Now you can have it. Now you can let them in your life. Now you can be in their life. So there is a, uh, you know, there is this, um, you know, um, movement ahead that I see coming up for you in your life in, uh, in the month of March especially when it comes to a specific person, specific connection that you are dealing with. I feel like, you know, maybe you, you always had, you know, um, your reservations about pursuing this person, pursuing this connection, but now you want to. You want to kind of, you know, invest into the situation now. And I feel like, you know, uh, there is a lot of communication coming in between the two of you as well. And I feel like, you know, this person, whoever it is that you are dealing with, um, they are somebody who is very good looking. They are somebody who is very charming. They are somebody who is... Um, um, who's very much uh, like an ideal figure for you. Um, let's see some more cards. I do see that you might be having a lot of communication with this person and I do see a new beginning here with this person. You might have had your guards up or it can be them as well who had their guards up against you but now they are ready to let their passion lead them. Uh, or maybe you are letting your passion lead you. Uh, I feel like, you know, for majority of you, this connection uh, maybe suffered because of the obsession in the connection coming from your side or their side. But I feel like you both feel that now you're ready to uh, let the passion lead you. Maybe either one of you was very um, practical and they wanted to uh, do something for themselves, uh, stability-wise, financial-wise, before they wanted to, you know, invest themselves into this connection. My, maybe now you feel, or maybe now your person feels that now they are ready, prepared to, uh, you know, to get their focus onto love, which they were not ready before. So maybe they wanted to achieve their career goals before they could come and, you know, uh, be in this connection fully and completely. Maybe they, all have, they have always been like, you know, the obsession issues. And if that was the case, I feel like, you know, they did the right thing there because, now is the time when they have it all, when they got it all, and now they want to, you know, give themselves into a loving relationship. They, they have uh, achieved the goals, they have achieved the success, they have achieved that, uh, you know, uh, career stability. Now they want to pursue love. So I feel like, you know, this is something which is happening for you in the month of March. A connection that was stuck, a connection that was on hold is now moving ahead. Uh, let's see the major shifts coming up for you in your life. Again, the obsession. 
uh, your connection and the passion in it is going to be skyrocketed in this month. And I feel like, you know, there is going to be a lot of uh, maybe sexual encounters too between you and this person in the month of uh, March. I do see obsessive relationship here, and which could be the reason why your connection was not heading ahead because... Uh, because, the, you know, the, there was a need to be stable financially first or achieving the career goals before you could start this, con you know, this uh, connection with this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Let's see the messages from your person. What is it that they want you to know? I wish I could talk. Uh, sorry, I wish I could take back my words. I feel like, you know, they might have told you in the past that, you know, go ahead, move on with your life. I don't want it. I don't want this connection. But now they regret it. For some of you, your, prosperous, uh, your person could be, um, could be, uh, you know, coming back towards you. Maybe you are going to be on the receiving end. A person who was non-committal, a person who was the very focused on their career would be coming towards you. It's time for me to just heal. They might have taken their time to heal. I feel like it's a message from their past self is what I'm picking up. I bury myself to work uh, in, um, I bury myself in a work to forget you. Your person had taken a lot of time before they, you know, they are realizing that now they're ready and prepared for a loving relationship. I feel like, you know, they stayed away from you purposely. And this is the reason why, because they felt like, you know, they cannot stay away from you. If they give themselves into this connection, they have to give their all into this connection, which they were not ready before. I am running away from you. So I feel like, you know, this is a message from their past self. And uh, now, for some of you, it can be something that you're currently dealing with your current person right now. And if that's the case, just know one thing that this person is going to come back. The person who's pushing you away will come back for sure. Um, I don't talk to anyone. I feel like, you know, um, this person... Uh, this person really wants you to know one thing. Like, you know, even if they are not talking to you right now, especially if you're dealing with the situation right now where your person is trying to push you away because they want to focus on their career right now because they think that otherwise they will not be able to forget you uh, and uh, you, they will not be able to give their attention and time to their work. I feel like, you know, they really would be pushing you away, but they really want you to know one thing for sure, that if they are not talking to you, th that doesn't mean that they are talking to other women, other men out there. It's just that they don't have time for love and relationship. They don't feel that they're prepared for it even. Um, they want their time right now just to heal, just to uh, invest into, uh, into their work right now because they want to build their stability. They want to build their uh, finances. Um, once they have done that, they will be definitely returning back to you. Um, so let's see the oracle cards here. Let's see what the divine has to add to the read for you guys for the month of March. I do see a new beginning for some of you, and then for others of you, maybe you're gonna be a person is gonna push you away because uh, they want to work on themselves right now. Hold your vision, whatever it is that you want, which uh, whatever it is that you wish for. Just know one thing that whatever you focus on, whatever you envision yourself having in the future, you will definitely have it. Emotions are running high. I feel like, you know, this month is going to be very emotional for you, for a majority of you. Um, and I feel like, you know, it's, um, for, for some of you, I feel like, you know, in fact, for a majority of you, maybe, you and your person would be reconciling now. You would be having a new beginning in, the, in your connection with your person after a period of, uh, you know, time apart. That's what I'm picking up going to be happening for majority of you. But yes, for some of you, maybe this is going to be the time where your person is going to be pushing you away or you are going to push your person away for the fear of uh, maybe getting too attached to them. So yeah, let's see your more oracle cards. Uh, law of attraction, make it work in your favor. Put the effort. I feel like it's very important for you to stay focused on what you want and then use the law of attraction tools and techniques to make things work in your favor. Freedom, remove time, constraints, and responsibilities, and feel free. It's very important. While you manifest as you manifest, as you create for yourself, make sure that you both don't put up uh, any time limits to yourself or your manifestations because it's going to make you feel blocked. When you don't see things coming through, um, you will feel that maybe you have blocked yourself. So just, just know that you've got to basically free yourself from anything which might make you feel bad around the situation. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it helped you, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.